Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're doing great this evening. And so in this video, of course, we'll be taking a look at what is going on with Invest 97L. That's the disturbance in the Caribbean. But also, I want to talk about a couple of rumors in relation to yesterday's earthquake as well as a tropical storm watch said to be in effect for Jamaica. First of the earthquake. So some persons are saying that the earthquake was actually a 7.7 .7 that happened offshore. And then when the shaken was felt, here that is when it would be a 5.4 or 5.6 i mean the geology uh, the u.s geological survey is saying a 5.4 as the estimated so between those 5.4 5.6 however when you look up coverage of the earthquake especially on youtube you would have seen news from back in 2020 there was a 7.7 .7 magnitude earthquake that happened offshore of jamaica as well as cuba and the cayman islands that was a magnitude 7.7 .7 on january 28th 2020 that happened. So uh, apparently some persons actually thought that was what happened yesterday. But what happened yesterday was that uh, that earthquake was actually in the parish of Portland in eastern Jamaica. The epicenter was in Portland. So that's the first thing. It was not a 7.7 .7 quake yesterday. And then there are some fake images circulating of what happened in Jamaica. Even some official news outlets, even international news outlets are showing images that are not of the quake that happened here in Jamaica. Those images are of devastating earthquakes elsewhere in the world, but not actually what happened in Jamaica. The devastation was not as uh, widespread as what some of those images depict. And so now in terms of that tropical storm watch, there is no tropical storm watch in effect for Jamaica. There is no tropical threat as of right now. Yes, we're watching the disturbance, but it is likely to pass south of Jamaica and it could potentially develop. But in terms of a direct hit, in terms of uh, something actually being there, right now that is not the case and that is why i do updates twice a day here on my channel to keep you guys posted on the latest so i just wanted to address those but now let's get into what's actually going on so we're looking at the caribbean satellite imagery here and we can see that there is a disturbance right there now there is no clear evidence of any circulation really going on with the system and it is looking a lot worse compared to yesterday and even earlier this morning so it's not really uh this big blob anymore we're just seeing these disorganized uh areas of convection associated with it. So the National Hurricane Center has even decreased the chance of development. It was high at 70%. It was in red. Now it is back in orange with a 60% chance of formation through the next seven days. So if it appears that the system won't be consolidating and really getting itself together, actually becoming a tropical cyclone, then the chance will only continue to decrease. But regardless, once it will be moving west with all this moisture associated with it, it is likely to bring portion uh, periods of heavy rains to portions of Central America, especially Nicaragua and Honduras. So we'll keep you guys posted as it relates to that. In terms of Jamaica, depending on how widespread the shower and thunderstorm activity is, uh, maybe there will be some periods of some downpours, but as of right now, direct impacts are not anticipated of the system. But in the vicinity of Jamaica, going to Cuba and even Haiti, we're seeing that there is a bit of activity. Some areas have experienced some periods of some showers and even some thunderstorms as well. And that is in relation to the low that's been drifting up to the north. It was previously marked as a disturbance last week, but has been off the map since development was not expected. However, with its passage, there is an increase in some activity nearby. Over in the east, we're not seeing where much is happening. A couple of thunderstorms over in western Puerto Rico and even close to Trinidad, but across most of the Lesser Antilles headed to Barbados, we're not seeing where much is going on. Much not happening for the Cayman Islands either, but as you look over into Central America, a lot of moisture. Some of that activity is in association with tropical storm peaks which we'll talk more about later in this video. Now we're drifting to uh, Northern South America and the South Caribbean. So we're seeing the ABC Islands within that area of that increase in moisture as a result of the disturbance. So maybe some periods of some showers here and there. And then across sections of Colombia going to Venezuela, we're seeing a lot of activity. A couple of thunderstorms within the Northern portion of the Guyanas, but not a whole lot happening across the territories. Going on in details about the disturbance here, we can see the latest outlook from NHC with that 60% chance of formation. So a general westward track is expected of the system. As I said, regardless of it developing, it could bring those periods of heavy downpours to portions of Central America, even producing tropical storm-like conditions for some areas. And then here it is on the visible satellite imagery. Now, if you should look at some of these clouds, notice that they're moving toward the south, especially going to the right side of your screen. That is the work of the shear. So the shear might be a problem for the system as it continues toward the west 
chance, and that is the reason the National Hurricane Center is decreasing that formation chance, coupled with the fact that it's not really improving right now. So let's see how it evolves as we head through the rest of today and into tomorrow. Going on to some model data, as it relates to the track guidance, we're seeing that models want to take this generally toward the west, and uh, we're not seeing a huge variation with what is expected in terms of that. But as for intensity, we're seeing that most are expecting a tropical storm, potentially a hurricane, to become of the system. Uh, as for me, I'm not really expecting a tropical storm right now. Let's see how it evolves, as I said, because that wind shear is going to be a problem for the system. And that is pretty much what I wanted to share in terms of that. Now let's hop over into the Pacific. We're going on to this satellite imagery and there we can see PLR over there. It's very close to the coast of the Central American territories and there's still that tropical storm watch in effect for El Salvador, the Pacific coast of Honduras and Northwest Nicaragua. So it's likely producing some periods of heavy rain, which will continue into tomorrow, potentially even into Thursday. But as we head to this weekend and into early next week, the system will be making its way out to the West. As of right now, Still tropical storm sustaining peak winds of 50 miles per hour and making its way toward the east northeast at 3 miles per hour. So that is what is going on with Pilar as well as uh, the disturbance in Vest 97L over in the Atlantic. And so guys, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this update. So I hope you found it to be quite informative. But if you have any questions, please do leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weather wise.